Hey there, I'm David, and this is your lifestyle guide to support your meditation practice. There are 13 videos in this series. This is video 7. What is Ayurveda? The word Ayurveda is a Sanskrit word. Ayur means life, and Veda means knowledge. So Ayurveda means knowledge of living, or science of living. Ayurveda is an ancient system of medicine from India, which dates back over 5,000 years. Ayurveda and yoga both have their origins in the ancient wisdom of India, referred to as the Vedas. And for this reason, there are practices which can be seen in both. There's some overlap. However, Ayurveda is the Vedic system of medicine which focuses on health, well-being and healing. And yoga is the Vedic system of spiritual practice which focuses on spiritual healing or awakening to your true nature. Ayurveda is a holistic system of healing, which takes into consideration our existence at every dimension, our physical, our mental, our emotional, and our spiritual. It acknowledges our existence in relation to everything else, the interconnectedness or the oneness of everything. If you're getting into meditation purely for health reasons, then Ayurveda will provide you with the support you need to develop your practice. Ayurveda recognizes that we're all made up differently, that we all have different body constitutions that influence our physical, mental and emotional characteristics. Illness is a result of our original body constitution being warped out of shape. Ayurveda works to restore balance to our original constitution. Ayurveda doesn't simply try to relieve the symptoms of a specific illness or sickness. Rather, it tries to get to the core of the issue, the imbalance in our constitution which has brought the sickness about. Obviously, it's easier to promote balance through preventative measures rather than trying to cure an existing ailment. For this reason, Ayurveda empowers each of us to take responsibility for our own well-being. And we do this by living with awareness. If you'd like to learn more about Ayurveda, there are a few books I could recommend, and I've included some of them in the description below. However, if there is an Ayurvedic physician that happens to live close to where you are, then you might find greater value paying them a visit.